Okay, so let's get started. This is how to make bottle cap images using this program. So let's first open our template. If you don't have a template, um, I will link this website right here. I'll link it down below um, so you can go to this website and she has a free uh, bottle cap template that's already formatted to a 4x6 photo sheet. You can download it for free as long as you don't crop out her um, as long as you don't crop out her signature which is right here at the bottom you are allowed to use her sheet so I have already opened it here and you just go to file and then open find your template whatever you haven't named and open it up next what you're going to do is open whatever image you found to go into your circle. So first I'm going to start by showing you um, a picture of a happy face. Now the way you open it to add it to this template is you go to open as layers and that what a layer means is it's going to put it on top of this template. If you just click open what will happen is you, it's going to open in its own tab. So see here's my bottle cap. If I go down here at the bottom, my bottle caps by itself, the happy faces are in another tablet because I didn't open them on the same one. So when you open this layers, it's actually going to open it on top of your bottle cap template like so. <clears throat> okay, the way to get it into the circles is you're going to click your scale tool because this is obviously way too big to go behind those circles. So you're going to click your sc scale tool and then click on your photo. Then this little pop-up is going to come up. Right here, there's a little chain. When it's linked together, you can click the corner here and actually just drag it and it will stay in proportion. Um, you can actually also see the picture scaling. So this is what it used to look like and this is, what, this is the size it's going to be now. That's actually still a little bit too big. I'm going to go just a little bit smaller. About right there should be good. And then you'll go over here and you just click on the scale button. It'll make it smaller just like so. Now to put it actually behind the circles, you go over here and you click your move tool. You move your image. And then you go over here to this other toolbar that opened up as well. This already opens automatically. And right here where it says happy feet, I'm going to put that right under the bottle cap template. And when you do that, let me undo it to show you again. When you do that, your image will automatically go behind like so then you can just adjust as you need and that one is completed to um, to make your own and pick your own background uh, what you need to do first is find a background so I'm gonna go ahead and open the background that I would like and I'm going to make sure to scale that background because that's way too big and it's probably still going to be a little bit too big I'm probably going to have to rescale it um, trying to make this video as fast as possible this does take a little bit of time though okay and then I'll go ahead and put that behind the circle as well that way that part is already done Okay, if you ever get something like this, where you can see the other part, but you already have your design exactly where you want it, you want it right there, what you can do is you can easily come over here to your eraser tool, and then go back over here and just erase whatever part of the image actually went into another circle. You can just erase that part of the image completely. That way that circle is not affected by your previous image and you have a brand new circle. 
Okay, back to the topic. So my image is back there. That's exactly where I want my tie-dye. So now to put something on top, you can easily go to google.com and you can find pretty much almost every image in a transparent image. You just type in transparent and then whatever you're looking for. So it, for example, I was trying to look for a mustache to put on top of that tie-dye print. So I went to google.com, I typed in transparent mustache and it gave me a transparent mustache. Um, it Not necessarily the mustache being transparent, but the background is. So that when I want to put this mustache on top of my tie-dye background, I don't have to worry about a background. I can just move that mustache right on top of that tie-dye. Just like so because it already comes with a transparent background. That's how I got it from Google. That's how I downloaded it. I'm actually going to make this just a little bit bigger. And there we go. So you have your mustache on top of your tie-dye background. One more thing that I want to touch on really quickly before we finish, because this is pretty much it, then you go through and you just make whatever bottle caps you'd like. One more thing that I did not show you was when you do have to crop a photo, I recommend going to the actual not open as layers, but just the regular open, and open the photo in a separate um, window. Because if you try to crop it right here on top of this template, you're actually going to crop out part of the template as well. So you want to open the image on its own, and then click crop over here crop the part of the image you would like click the center of it to actually finish cropping and then if on your keyboard if you click control and C at the same time it will actually copy that image to your clipboard over here then you can close this window discard the changes and then when you come back over here, just click Control and V and it will paste the image right there. Then you have what's called a floating selection. You want to click, right click on that floating selection, which just represents your image that you put. That's what it means. Um, you want to right click on it and go down to where it says to new layer right here. So you're going to make it its own layer. And then see it changes like all the other ones. And then from there, all you have to do is always make sure that your bottle cap template is at the top of the list. And making sure you do that is important because that's the easiest way to get your images all behind your uh, bottle cap template. And that's pretty much it for making the bottle caps. Then you just um, print them out. Uh, one more thing, actually, before we finish, is when you're trying to save this file so you can print it later, you don't go to File and Save. You actually go a little bit further down to where it says Export As. And then you follow the steps. It's pretty th much the same as saving, except you actually can't save these because then you won't be able to open them with any pro any program other than GIMP. If you want to open it or put your images online on Facebook or anything, you will need to down you will need to export this file instead of just saving the file because saving the file won't be in the right format. Okay, guys. Well, I hope that this was an easy tutorial help you understand GIMP a little bit better um, as far as making bottle cap images. Um, please rate, subscribe, comment,